thanks for your interest in the glass stream product and today I'm going to do a little walk around of this 2020 glass stream 328 SCX which is cabin boat <clears throat> so we're going to start at the back talk about a few things on these glass streams and, and you ought to know this before you put the boat in the water the first time first of all we got pop-up cleats nice feature out of the way whenever you don't need it the trim tabs are Linko, and they have the safety feature. Every time you turn the key on, you're going to hear your pump run for a little bit. It's going to put this tab back up to full up, okay? So when you turn the key on, when you turn the key off, you're going to hear the pump run for a few seconds. That's all that is. You're supposed to do that. It's a nice safety feature. Obviously, you're going to want to put your drain plug in before you go. Over here on this side, we got a ladder mount, and it's a pretty cool mount. So you take your ladder out of the holder in the back. you turn this device to a place where you can pull it out of the way put these tangs in here and then lock it back in okay, now it's safe to use sandbar swimming snorkeling whatever you get ready to go take it back up put your latch back in mount it back up inside we'll get to that in a second all right let's talk some more about the motors back here when you're done for the day and you've been in salt water, you want to flush these engines. On each engine, there's a flushing port. And you just take this little knob right here, twist it, pull it out, unscrew this cap. Regular garden hose goes in there, turn the water on about half throttle. Don't, don't do it wide open, no sense in it. Put it on about half throttle, um, half open. Let it run for about 10, 15 minutes. Don't even have to start the motor, and that flushes the salt out of this motor. Do the same on the other side, then you got them both done. That's all you have to do when you come out of salt water. Always a good idea, since we're talking about it, to wash the lug nuts and uh, just give the trailer a good hosing out. It's not, a, it's not gonna rust, it's an aluminum trailer with galvanized axles, but it's still a good idea to uh, put a little soap and water on the lug nuts. That way you won't have any, any kind of residual debris or stains or anything come from using it in salt. 